So I've just finished the coding bootcamp and I've gained some amazing coding and non-coding skills. However, there were some things I wish I knew before I joined the bootcamp. So I thought, why not make a video about it? Here are nine things I wish I knew before I joined the bootcamp. One of the main things that you need to consider when applying for a coding bootcamp is the costs that are involved. Depending on where you are, coding bootcamps can vary in costs. I'm well aware that in Northern America, that costs of a bootcamp can be around $10,000 and even upwards to and even above $20,000 US dollars. In the UK, coding bootcamps are generally much cheaper, but their costs can vary too. There are also many that are free out there as well, so it'd be worth checking out depending on where you are. So one of the first things I'd recommend you do if you're considering a coding bootcamp is finding out the costs of a coding bootcamp in your area to see whether you can afford it. It's an obvious thing, but you also need to remember, and that's assuming that your bootcamp is full time, is that you won't be able to make pretty much any earnings during that time. You won't be able to balance both a job and the full time bootcamp as well because of how immersive it is. You're spending a lot of time on learning and coding you won't be able to have any time to make any money on the side, generally. Another thing you need to consider is whether your bootcamp is remote or not. And if it isn't remote, you now need to start considering travel costs, food costs, because you'll be having to spend money outside of the home. And you need to find out whether you're able to bring your own packed lunch to the place, whether they have a fridge. So you must consider whether you have the funds available to be able to pay for the bootcamp pay for the travel costs and to pay for rent and whatever other bills that you usually have during the time of the bootcamp, which can vary between two to three or even up to about six months I've had. One of the main metrics to consider when you're applying for a coding bootcamp is the job placement rate. It's the only real statistic that tells you how efficiently and how quickly bootcamps are able to put their graduates into roles. It's not the only thing to consider, but it should be a major factor as to what bootcamp you want to apply to in the end. Also, another major contributing factor is the career services that the bootcamp offers. Before applying for a bootcamp, I would search through their website with a fine tooth comb to figure out whether they offer any type of career services at the end of the bootcamp after graduation to see whether they're able to help you with the job interviews, hook you up with other companies and whether they're able to help you throughout the job search at all. If there's no mention of any of this anywhere at all, it's pretty safe to assume that after graduation, you're completely on your own. Something that caught me by complete surprise is how rigorous these bootcamp applications are. Before they'll even take your money, you have to jump through many hoops just to be accepted as a student. Many boot camps require you to be at some sort of level before you're even able to apply. And a lot of these boot camps require you to take a test prior to the boot camp to show that you're able to handle the intensity of the boot camp. So don't be surprised when you apply for a boot camp and some of the requirements are knowing some basic HTML and CSS or even some JavaScript in some cases. Though many boot camps give you a heads up during the application process to let you know how intense the boot camp is, I was still surprised by how much we learned during such a small amount of time. You're constantly learning, you're pushed to a limit you've never been pushed to before, you're having to go outside of your comfort zone and constantly adapt. It is one heck of a ride. Those of you that went to university or college in Northern America, do you remember those last four weeks of the year? where the pressure is just piling on. You've got exams, you've got assignments, and you're trying to balance all of it. Imagine those four weeks, but apply it across the whole bootcamp, however long it is. That is what the bootcamp is like. You're constantly under pressure to stay on top of your work, learn and finish assignments. Not everyone is a beginner. That's the honest truth. Some people went into the bootcamp nearly as good as I came out of it. And that is no joke at all, I'm being serious. They were that good. Usually they're just a few in number, but they're here not to work on their coding skills, but it's their non-coding skills mainly. Things like their soft skills, getting better communication skills, being able to present in, in front of other people, being able to work in teams. Yes, they work on their coding skills to try and refine it and be able to write code better, but mainly they're here just to work on their soft skills just so that they become more employable. 
you also get people that were developers in their previous lives but because of other things that have happened pauses in their lives they're trying to get back into the industry and the boot camp is the best way to accelerate their learning and catch up with the industry standards to be able to go right back into employment and those groups of people are usually the ones that answer all the questions and to be honest ask the best questions as well as a beginner and as most people in the boot camp are it'll be difficult for you not to compare yourself to them at all but just some quick advice since some sincere advice from myself don't compare yourself to them you have your own coding journey and they've started theirs a lot earlier than yours compare yourself to your past self see where you were a week ago and look how much you've progressed since then concentrate on yourself and take charge of your own learning journey this one may be obvious but i didn't realize how much an impact it would have had on my social life but your social life dwindles to about nothing basically generally you won't be able to see friends generally you won't be able to see family because you'll be so immersed in code no, i'm not saying don't see them but i'm giving you a heads up right now your social life will dwindle to pretty much nothing and be ready for it the boot camp challenges you in many ways it requires you to learn things very quickly and then apply them pretty much straight away the learning to application turnaround time is so small it literally feels like you're playing a game of whack-a-mole as soon as you're able to deal with one thing you've learned and applied it another thing comes up so you as a beginner boot camper may have other personal responsibilities that you need to deal with and because you spend an extended amount of time in the boot camp anything can happen in that time so the boot camp can prove to be difficult to balance with all the other things going on in your life let me stop being so negative and let me tell you some of the good things that you get as with any time you struggle when you're struggling with people and you've got a singular focus and a singular goal and you're all trying to graduate out of the boot camp all trying to learn these type of struggles will get you really close with people in the boot camp you make really good friends and you get really close to people unexpectedly so because you all want the best for each other and you all have the same goal and you're struggling to get there and there's a real beauty in that struggle because a lot of friendships come out from it and even though my boot camp was remote i really feel like i've made some long life friends and i'm interested to see where they'll, where they'll go and how their careers are going to turn out and i'm actually going to be meeting up with some of them soon some of the life skills that you learn are simply just invaluable if you didn't have work ethic you'll have it after that boot camp if you didn't have any grit you'll have it after that boot camp if you didn't know how to persevere you'll have it after that boot camp it is such a transformative journey you wouldn't even believe it and aside from the coding skills some of the soft skills that you learn are just completely invaluable you learn how to communicate better you learn how to present in front of many people you learn how to work in teams all of these things are so important to be able to become employable and help your chances in getting a job much quicker after the boot camp another bit of unsolicited advice here it's very cliche but remember the boot camp is a marathon and it's not a race you have to assess yourself regularly mentally and physically to see where you're at take regular breaks throughout the boot camp to ensure that you're not going to burn out and i'm not saying take an extended amount of time off all i'm saying is don't spend every waking moment coding if you need to take an evening off do it if you need to take some time off during the weekend do it you need to look after your mental health or else you end up burning yourself out you must know when to take breaks so you can push along in the long run and that you do not burn yourself out and then you're thrown into the wild world of unemployment and you know how difficult tech interviews can be they're so difficult that they've become a meme now basically and those were nine things you should know before joining a boot camp i hope the video was useful if it's your first time here why not consider subscribing this was Code of Muhammad and I'll see you guys next time inshallah.